You know, there's a lot of good things that come on a stick, but some of the best things I ever knowed that come on a stick is this new creation we got. What are they? Cowboy kebabs. Tender steak marinated overnight in a little tangy sauce and tender smoked vegetables that's got a little char to them. You better come on, cause you gonna wanna do these. for stopping by camp on a foggy morn. Air traffic control let us land right in here, give us the clean signal from the fog and the sandhill cranes that was all the way over camp this morning they was. But what are we doing today? Everything that we're gonna do and the printable recipe will be right down there in the little link below the video. But today is a special day because guess what folks? I am going to t teach you how to knit. Yes. We're knitting today. Yes. <laughs> Something like pearl one, curl two, I ain't got a clue, but what are we talking about? Kebabs. I'm gonna call them kameet, cause that's what we're gonna put on them, okay? Now, this can be done with beef, with pork, with chicken. But today, folks, we doing beef, cause I've been on them other things for about three or four weeks in a row, and I'm craving me some beef. Now, the cut of beef I really like to use for these, and two of them are very special for this. One is about an inch and a half thick cut New York strip. The other would be a sirloin. Now the sirloin is going to be a little cheaper, but whatever you use, be sure to make sure that it is quality. And would you use a ribeye for this? No, uh, you could, but the ribeye is going to be a little harder to get the everything the same cut of meat because it's got that center eye in it. When you talk about kebabs, you talk about we got to make a marinade for it. You know, you got to have something that's going to break down a little more. And I like to make a marinade and let it set overnight, whether it be for beef, pork, or chicken. About, Jimmy yeah. Buffett sang a song about it. Anybody got a clue? Anybody in the back? Raise a hand. Nobody knows what it is, Shin. Tequila. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not talking about taking a drink before you make this marinade, but if you need a drink of it, hey, go ahead. It is the breakfast of champions if you can get by with it. So to start with, let's take us some lime juice, put it in a bowl. Then we're gonna take that tequila and put it in there. And I'm talking about a half a cup cause I want it to do some good. Some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, some Worcestershire. So the thing that I like to add to this that makes it different that a lot of folks might not use is two dried ancho chilies pulverized. Get them in there, throw in three tablespoons of brown sugar, Put it in that bowl, let's get you a whisk and let's mix it up really well so we make sure that everything is incorporated. Then we're gonna take that New York strip, about an inch and a half thick, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that fat rind off one side, and then I'm gonna chunk it to where all the meat is about the same. That is a key thing when you're making kebabs come eat. It is. You need to keep them the same size, that way you have an even cook throughout. We put it in this marinade. You can put it in a Ziploc bag, just like this. That way you can squish it around as you go by the ice box. I like to let it set at least overnight. Let all that get to blending well in there together. I'm not gonna combine meat and vegetable together. I'm gonna go ahead, I always like to do them meat on one, vegetables on the other. That way you're not having an uneven cook time. Before we even start on this meat, I'm gonna go ahead and take me some squashes. Mm-hmm. And a squash knife. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them little ends off of them. And then you're just gonna chunk them. Now you can see we're going about an inch. Yes, we are. Now, if you come across a bad spot and this one's got one on it, give him a chunk to the Sandhill Cranes. They might like a little veggie in their diet. A pepper. Now, this one here even still got his name tag on him. He was probably at the pepper convention and you know how they stick them names on everything so everybody know who you are. This guy's name is Red Bell. That's what he's called. Now, I cut the end of him off, give him a little shake. You can see how everything cleaned out. Oh, so easy. Right down the middle, and then we can chunk him like this, and then when we skew him, we can go here, which is a little better what I be liking. But you can see, they're gonna be pretty close to the same size as them squashes when we get done. But guess what else I like to throw in there just cause I like them? That's these little sweet bell peppers. And all you gotta do to them, just chop the end off of him. Mushroom. Now, these mushrooms are gonna cook different. All you gotta do is pull the plug out of them. They are live now and loaded, just like a <laughs> grenade. So put them there. A white onion. 
Now, you can do these same ways you did the squash, whichever way you want to do them. Just make sure that they come out pretty even. Now, I'm going to cut him in about five chunks here. And, folks, you can change up your veggies as to whatever you want them to be. Your favorite thing, get you some zucchini. Hey, whatever you want to put on it, that is fine. Now, speaking of this marinade that we got going on here, too, Shan's going to have you a link up there. If you're using chicken or pork, use our shrimp marinade that we did on the shrimp grilling video, and you'll be fixed up. Looky here, looky here, Shan. What is that? I call it a humongous large pepper. What, is it a poblano? It is a jalapeno. That's a jalapeno? Uh-huh, he is a big one. Whoa. I think they ought to might have sent him to one of them deals like they do some of them guys. He might ought to be checked for steroids because I like a bite in my food, as y'all know. So, we can just go ahead and start with these veggies if y'all would like. And I'm going to go ahead and go right here, push him all the way down. Then I'm going to put one of these greeners on there. And you can need to leave you a little space. Don't jam them up here to where they can't get no fire in there. Leave you a space between them. So we got one of these and we need to be sure that we try to get him to where he's gonna cook evenly and stay on there. And we better have a chunk of onion, or as Justin Wilson would call, onion, and put him on there. What would you like to end up with? Hey, let's have a piece of squash on there. And then what do we got going on after that? Another end cap. Everything is sealed up, but it's a little tight. We're gonna have to change it around so we can get us some space between here. And one other thing I wanna tell you on a tip, don't get the wooden ones. Wooden ones burn up. These will conduct a little heat, but they ain't gonna melt and start a fire on there. So make sure you use some metal. Now folks, I'm gonna tell you too, you, you can see as Shan went by there with the little camera there, there weren't no mushrooms on there. No, they wasn't. I like to do them on a separate deal all by themselves. That way I can know they're gonna cook a little different, ain't gonna take much fire on them. So, well, now comes the star attraction of the whole movie. What is it? The beef. Scurry them right down through there. One right after another. You know how to do it, folks. Get the lid off this here olive oil. We're just gonna give them a little drenching so everybody gets a little juice. Now, if and you want to, you can have all these veggies in a bowl and just go ahead and toss them good with olive oil right there before you put them on the skewer stick and then you're ready to go. But the meat, we're gonna go ahead and season. Sure, it marinated a little, but I'm fixing to enhance me some flavor and some taste with a little light coating of Red River Ranch Original. Time to rotate. And let's go ahead and see if we can shake them veggies. Let me stoke the fire, folks, and we're gonna throw them on there because I'm getting hungry. And there is a sizzle, and that's what I'm after. Some veggies. And we'll move these around, folks, because we're trying to get us a pretty good sear on that meat first, and then we'll slow it down. Folks, we is on a hot fire, and we're getting some of that char, so let's turn them over, see if we can we roll them around a little. A lot of times, if you can get them to roll, you can just roll them right over. Got one that don't want to cooperate. But... See that char up there on both sides? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slow this meat down over here on this side. Cause I do like to get me some char on it. Move over mushrooms. Make sure you get them to the cool side. Keep rotating them veggies around. We'll get them down here on some hot fire and get us some blistering to take place. I like to start everything on sort of a hot fire and then slow it down. Cause I'm wanting that blister Right there, and I'm wanting that char on that meat. Whew, I'd be liking that right there. Now, we done rolled that meat around there and got it over and slowing it down, and we rolled them veggies around, but we're going to re-season them veggies at this time. So give you a little more shake and bake in there. And the thing that's going to take the longest to cook out of them veggies is going to be the squash, and we want them to get good and tender, and we'll be able to poke it in a minute and find out we're getting close. 
Now y'all remember that deal we had a long time ago in that grilling video where you just feel of it? Folks, this is a pretty little piece of meat. It don't take a whole lot of fire to cook it and we don't want to overcook it. Now when I'm touching that meat, I want it to feel about like that right there. This finger and this finger together, not tense, but just touch that thumb muscle. That's about what we're after because that's going to be about medium rare. So let me get these up here. Well, them little shrooms has been sitting over there all by themselves for a long time. So let's bring them over here and give them just a little bit of instant heat. We'll let them char there just a minute and they'll be good to go. Now remember when you're cooking a steak, what have we always told you you got to do? Let it rest before you eat it. So look at them pretty little rascals. I'm going to get me one of them, pick out my favorite veggie one and put it right there. You can eat on any one of them that you want to start with. Which one do you think I'm going to start with? You got that right. Me and Big are going to start with the beef. Mm. Such a different, unique taste, Big, and that is so good. Tell me what you think. How many tail wags? Oh, that's a lot. Ooh. Big says it is good. Hey, the thing that stands out to me is the ancho chili and the little tanginess you get there from the tequila and the balsamic vinegar. So tender, so tasty. You can try it any way you like it, but the best way to try it is between your teeth. One of my favorite veggies in the whole world to throw on a grill, squash and romaine. And I do love me some grilled squash. Mm. I like to cook them, as Shan would call them, a little bit. What's that fancy word, Shan? Al dente. Yes, it did. Come in a hailstorm, Al got it in there and got them all dente -ed. he did. Gives it a little crunch, but they're done. They're tender. Good smoky flavor there. Mm. Uh, so? I'm getting all them flavors from that jalapeno, the sweet bell, and the onion. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. You finna break down. Woo! That's what I'm talking, folks. Larrapin good, it is. I love the char that got on them onions and them jalapenos, and it brings a little tingle to your taste buds, it does. Well, I wish y'all was here because me and the big got a lot to eat. We would share with you, folks, because that's what we do. Remember, when you go to make these, use your marinade like we mixed up here and make sure you let it soak at least overnight. Make sure you cut your meat the same size throughout. That way you're getting an even cook time. Same with the veggies. I don't like to mix them on skewers because something's gonna get done for something else is. We hope you learned something today. We hope you had a good time and we hope you felt like family because that's what me and Shan are trying to create. Be sure you hit the little subscribe button, you like it, and you share the videos, folks. I need you to start sharing them with everyone you can find because we're not just teaching food here folks we're showing life and how simple things are see old glory there in the background i tip my hat to them every day and i thank them for all that they have done our veterans our service men and women and all those who have served to keep this country great and free that we get to do what we like and an old man on a ranch told me one time many years ago in the bottom of the paladura canyon on a very cold morning he said you're born into this world with three things he said, that's God, family, and your word. Take care not to tarnish any of them. We ask you to have a great day above the grass. God bless you each and every one, and see you down the kebab trail. Give you a little zing and a little kick, and vegetables with a great smush. I marinated steak overnight, and I forgot the words. I did, I'm so sorry. Tang, tangy, tangy.
with the astronauts. What? Tang. It went to the moon with the astronauts. Oh they my gosh. It. Yes. Is some cowboy kebabs. Tender marinated steak. Steak. We're gonna cook up some steak. You know, there's a lot of good things that come on a stick, but some of the best things I've ever seen come on them are these cowboy kebabs. Tender marinated snake. Snake. Oh, well, we're cooking snake today now. You know, there's a lot of good things that come on a stick. I know, I've heard it 54 times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get over in your spot. <laughs> you know? What? Tell me. I don't Let know. me guess. Does it come on a stick? <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs>